Hey guys, I'm here with another video. So this video is going to be a series about welfare. So this is going to be one of four parts, so you guys stay tuned. I will have the rest up, if not today, but um, probably over the next week or so. So really what this video is going to be about is just outlining some facts for you guys, try to help um, explain the welfare system, kind of give you a little bit of an overview of different topics, just so that we all have like a base understanding before we continue the conversation, right? So this is going to be purely factual, um, no opinions, no nothing. So wh what the welfare budget is composed of is 13 different programs. Um, technically, Medicaid is included in that, so really it's 14 programs. And what those are going to be outlined as, I'll actually put it on the screen for you guys because it is quite a bit. Uh, but what I, I will just read it off for you guys first. So there's negative income tax, that's going to be cash paid to working families who pay no income tax. SNAP, which is basically food stamps, they give out like a debit card, people can go to the stores and purchase items they need. Housing assistance, which includes rent vouchers, public housing and community development programs, things like that. SSI, which is cash paid to disabled or blind seniors 65 or over. Pell grants, which are made to students to help pay for college, tuition, room and board, things like that. Uh, TAMF, which is temporary assistance for needy families, which is cash paid to low income families to and, and to move them from welfare to work. Then there's child nutrition, which is the school lunch programs, um, breakfast and after school programs, food programs as well. Head Start, which is preschool programs, uh, job training, which is various things involving employment support for youths, adults, and seniors as well, so it's all encompassing. There's WIC, which is Women, Infants, and Children. It's a high protein food program for um, women and children up to five years old. Child care, which is just you know, child care after school programs, things like that. There's low income housing energy assistance programs or home energy assistance programs, which just aid for heating and cooling of residential dwellings. And then there's Lifeline, the Obama phone, which is just a phone subsidy, uh, including cell phones. And then naturally there's gonna be Medicaid, which is just healthcare for low income Americans. Now I'm gonna go over how much the government spends on these things for the fiscal years of 2017 and 2016 respectively. However, it's a lot of numbers, so I'm going to go ahead and throw up something on the screen for you guys as well. So you can kind of follow along with me, but I am going to read it off in case the writing's too small. All right, so for the negative income tax, it was $79 billion in 2017, $81 billion in 2016. SNAP was $70 billion in 2017, $73 billion in 2016. Housing assistance was $50 billion in 2017, and $49 billion in 2016. SSI was $56 billion in 2017 and $61 billion in 2016. Pell Grants were $28 billion in 2017, $30 billion in 2016. TAMF was $16 billion in 2017, $16 billion in 2017 as well, so 17 and 16 is the same. Child Nutrition was $22 billion in both 2017 and 16. Head Start was $10 billion in 2017 and 16. Job training was six billion in 2017 and 16. WIC was um, six billion in 2017 and 16. Child care was six billion in 2017, five billion in 2016. Uh, low income home energy assistance was three billion in both 2017 and 16. And the Obama phone lifeline was two billion in 2016 and 17. Now, more importantly. That adds up to $354 billion spent on welfare, just the 13 welfare programs in 2017, and $364 billion spent on just those 13 in 2016. Now let's look at the cost of Medicaid here. That's $375 billion in 2017 alone, and $368 billion in 2016, bringing the totals for each of those years to $729 billion in 2017 and $732 billion in 2016. Now, there's also additional spending. So, for instance, in 2016, local and state governments spent around, let's see, $220 billion on welfare programs in 2016 alone. So that raises the total in 2016 to $952 billion spent on all welfare programs. So that was just a quick overview of the spending. Uh, as you can see, it's a sizable portion of money spent by the federal government. And uh, I'm going to go over you know, the pros and cons of what's happening here and the pros and cons of, of what we're spending and kind of end with a conclusion that's going to draw it back to what, what does the rest of our budget look like 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment. Like I said, I'll be back with another video outlining the pros first, then the cons. Then I'll bring it all together for you guys and kind of, you know, help you develop your opinions as well and kind of see, you know, where, where the country's headed and why we're headed there. All right. Thank you guys. Have a good one.